Okay, hello class. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of these biosafety cabinets to maintain a sterile work environment while you do your, your cell culture work for the laboratory. Um, these biosafety cabinets are a sterile working environment inside because they're irradiated with UV light. You can see the blue light on currently. It's basically sterilizing the inside of this chamber. Um, and you'll need to work inside one of these biosafety cabinets when you do your cell culture, as I said, to maintain a sterile work environment to prevent your cultures being contaminated by bacteria or mold or some kind of, um, of, of, of fungus uh, um, that's in the air around this. Okay, so I'll show you how to use, how to turn on one of these cabinets and how to properly work um, inside one of these. Okay, so I'll show you how to turn on the, um, the, the biosafety cabinet to allow you to work inside. Now, assuming it's not already on when you come into Pratt class, um, it will look something like this. So the UV light is on and currently sterilizing the cabinet. The first thing you do is turn it off. So there's a button for that on this panel at the top here. So you just press that to turn the UV light off. And then what you do is you take the covers off. So I'll do that and put that to one side. And then there's also um, a button at the top here to turn the, the, the hood on, which, which turns a fan on. So I'll do that now. And you can hear the cabinet sort of um, powering up. And hopefully you can hear me over this, the noise of this fan. What that fan is, it, it sucks air through the top, through a HEPA filter, and blows air from the back of the hood out towards you. And in this way, it keeps um, any, any um, pathogens or bacteria or, you know, the, the, the spit from my mouth as I talk from going into the cabinet and falling on the surface, which is where you'll be working, and that's what maintains um, a sterile environment. Okay, so that flow of air um, is what keeps this, the inside of this chamber um, sterile. Um, the other thing you should do is when you come to work with this cabinet, if the light isn't already on, there's also a button here to turn the light on. So you, so the light's not coming on because it takes some time for the fan to get up to speed. Um, the, the fan needs to completely power up so that the airflow reaches a certain rate, which indicates that the hood is ready to be used. So we need to wait for that to reach zero. So I'll, we'll cut to that. Um, and then I'll show you how to turn the light on. Okay, so now that fan has finished powering up, we should be able to turn the light on. So if I hit that, you can see that turns a, a light bulb um, at the top here on you. You can see what you're doing inside the hood. Now, even though that UV light was sterilizing this environment, another good practice to do is just to give this surface a spray with 70% ethanol. So I have a bottle of 70% ethanol here. It's, a, it's good to just give that um, a spray and then you get a piece of paper towel just to wipe it down with. And that's just an extra measure to, to basically clean and sterilize that work surface. And then what you want to do is to um, bring into the hood any um, instruments like pipettes or tips um, that you'll be using for your cell culture experiment. And what you want to do is to also spray any items that are coming from outside the hood that's in a non-sterile environment, you want to spray that with 70% ethanol to clean that before you place them into the hood. So for example, if I take this um, electronic pipette aid, or it's also called a pipette gun, um, just give that a quick spray with 70% ethanol and wipe that down with paper towels before placing that into the hood. You should do that with for something like a pipette, uh, a, a tip box as well. Here I've got a couple of um, automatic pipettes that I might be using for an experiment. So we'll just give that a spray. Spray a little wipe down, and then position that in that work surface ready for your cell culture experiment. Um, the way you work in this hood, you want to, um, as I said, this is the sterile working environment. So you want to work with your hands sort of 
inside this work surface uh, near the center. So if you were to, if you were preparing something, you want to do it here, inside the hood, rather than, rather than the ed at the edge here, where um, there's potential for contam there's greater potential for contamination. Okay, so make sure you're working inside the hood, where gloves and also it's a good practice to sterilize your hands with 70% ethanol periodically uh, while you're working in this sterile environment to do your cell culture work. Okay, so we'll end the video there. Um, and um, in the next couple videos, I'll show you how to use one of these pipette guns and how to transfer media um, and other solutions inside the, the, the cell culture hood.